Thanks, Johnny, and welcome, players. You it's come Sunday, play which means it's time no, for thank you. Clues. You can play Sports Jeopardy or catch up on the clues from this week. Which would you like to play? Catch up. You've already played all the clues this week. Oh, so continue and you can read those clues. Do you want to catch up on those clues? No. You can catch up on the week's clues at any time by saying Ask Jeopardy to catch up. Thanks for playing. Hope to see you next time. Alexa, play Jeopardy. This is Jeopardy. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy. It's Sunday, which means it's time to get started. You can play some stuff and get up on the phone from this game. Yellow? Sorry, 
The correct response was what is white. The next category is the 1984 NBA draft. The third and fourth picks, Michael Jordan and Sam Perkins, the teammates of the State University. What is North Carolina? Yes, that's correct. Your last Jeopardy category is Battle of the Sexes. In 2003, she entered the Bank of America Colonial Tournament as the first woman in the PGA event in over 50 years. I don't know. The correct response was, who is Annika Sorensen? Let's see how you're doing against the other Jeopardy players. Not bad. You scored 6 out of 12 points today. Your score for today puts you in the middle of our rankings. We'll see you tomorrow for more clues. Mom, you forgot to tell me about owing me some popcorn. Oh, okay, I'll take What you been doing, Mommy? I heard that you got six out of twelve clues. I did it with Jeopardy. I'm not very good at that. I know. I know. You've been you've been trying, you know that? I know. I know, Mommy. That's alright, I'm good at everything else. Right? Yeah. You and me. I'll take that. Hey, I know I love you. I know washers are my favorite things that I liked. Alright guys, here's the, my uh, washer, my Whirlpool Duet front loader, it's on uh, final spin, we have 11 minutes to go, it's on the normal, there it goes, sounds like the load is going to start to get out of balance, but not really, yeah, you can help picking up speed just a little bit, Hear the uh, the pump going. It's draining all needs to extract as much water out, out of it. It's picking up speed just a little bit. You can hear the motor down there. Way down there, you can hear the uh, the motor and all kind of stuff. It's a nice washer, that's really good. Got this about four, almost five years ago, and no, it's, it's working out so perfect. Yep. Got that. No troubles, you know. It's going a little bit faster now. drive motor. The drive drive motor is on the back, which is kind of similar to the uh, belt drive models. It does sound similar. Whirlpool Duet Spin Cycle. It's picking up speed. Nine minutes left. Going a bit faster now.
going a little bit faster now. I'm not going to go too fast because I don't want to burn the motor down. Oh. Slowing down that time. It's got sensors around here, so if I... Uh, because the machine thinks that the load is unbalanced, even though it's not, it's going to slow down and it's going to pick up speed. Because you know it's smart, it knows, but there's the sensors around here. I think the sensors that control the, uh, the balance on the machine. Because the washer thinks that the load is unbalanced, even though it's not. Which is a really cool feature. Working good. Yep. Let's see. It knows when the load is unbalanced, it stops it. So it doesn't mess up the machine so so it can last last longer, you know. It's got sensors around here that you control like a lot of different things controls the um the way of the load and it controls the balance everything everything it controls yep all right let's see I, I think it's gonna ramp up again we shall see that's a nice duet front load machine Four years ago, almost five years ago, no troubles, working out perfect, so perfect. Machine drains out all the water off of it, so perfect, like really perfect. So in order to get to the pump, you have to like take the uh, back off of the washer because most of the washers have like a little, little spot for the door, you know, the door down there for the pump and all of that. Like if your washer has has trouble with the uh, uh, has a long time picking up speed, uh, it will stop with the error code, and you have to like uh, unplug the washer and open that door. But but on this one, you have to like take the take the take it apart, the whole thing apart, the back of the washer in order to get to the drain pump and all of that, and then do it like a deep cleaning. Just need to make sure that you uh, prepare for the water to uh, to spill out because of that little uh, rubber gasket, which prevents leaks, leaks and all kind of stuff, so it doesn't malfunction. Yeah, it's picking up speed. It's a nice uh, machine. It's working out perfect. Eight minutes left to go. And here it goes picking up speed. Well, it's a nice front loading machine. Yep. Duet. Front load. Yep. Working perfect. It's spinning. Got this about. It's working out perfect. So cool. It ha it, ha it has like a nice window around here so you can see it uh, going. Yep, got this about four years ago. It's working out so perfect. Yep, we checked the yarn. Yep, yep, we checked the uh, water uh, hoses and we checked the power and we checked the uh, water hoses to make sure everything is on we check the uh, water hoses which is located in the back of the washer let me show you again real quick that's the water hoses usually uh in order to get to you have to go to the back of the washer like if, and if the washer gets too big you have to like move it around and then check the water inlet hoses making sure it's on and then check the power cord to make sure it's plugged in. But right now it works. 
Yep, got that done. It's working out so perfectly. Eight minutes left to go. It's, it's a nice, uh, nice washer right there. It spins like very fast, but not that fast. Because, because, because I don't want to burn the motor down and cause it a malfunction so it spins fast, but not, but not too fast. Yep. Well, with a nice front loading machine. Yep. Fix it all up. Yep. See? It's on the high speed spin. Doors locked. Eight minutes left to go. The thing that, yep. The thing that's, uh, yep, that's top speed. I think about around 11, um, 1100, uh, I think 1150 RPMs or something like that. But that's really fast. Not as fast as the LG, uh, it's almost kind of like the sound like an LG, uh, direct drive, uh, that my, that her mother, uh, grandmother, grandmother has. LG direct drive and it spins really fast, but a little bit faster. Yeah. It's working out perfect. And also, uh, Granddaddy Mimi has one. Granddaddy Mimi also has this washer, which is similar, but but the same, but it's a little bit different because this one, because Granddaddy Mimi spins like it's picking up speed like at one uh, like I think 1350 RPM. Oh, it's winding down. So it means it's about to be done soon. If you know it's at seven minutes because you know it has the sensors that detects it. Yep. All right, let me go ahead and uh, get my lemon cake real quick. Set the camera down. Thank you.